Hi, and welcome back to BCBAMockExam.com. In this video, we will be delving into Section B2 of the 5th edition of the BCBA Task List, which focuses on defining and providing examples of stimulus and stimulus class. It is essential for behavior analysis practitioners to comprehend these ideas, and doing so will substantially aid your exam preparation. These videos aim to guide you toward more smooth preparation for the BCBA exam. After watching the videos, you will gain a more in-depth and comprehensive understanding of what makes up the exam, and you will definitely have a better chance of passing it. Subscribe to our channel so that you can receive free learning materials from us to further assist you in preparing for the exam. There are 11 topics in Section B, and we will be making one video to discuss each topic, making it altogether 11 videos to cover the whole program. Let's start by defining a stimulus. A stimulus refers to anything that a person can experience through their senses, including what can be seen, heard, smelled, felt, or tasted. It can be an external event or an internal sensation. For instance, let's consider the stimulus of a loud bang from a gun. The loud bang serves as a sensory input that can be perceived by the individual's auditory sense. This particular stimulus can elicit various reactions and responses from individuals who hear it, such as a startle reflex, increased heart rate, or feelings of fear or alarm. The study of stimuli and their effects on human perception and behavior is an essential aspect of psychology and neuroscience. Now, let's explore the concept of a stimulus class. A stimulus class refers to a group of stimuli that have a common effect on an operant class, which in turn evokes or abates the same behavior or response class. In the context of daily life, Let's consider the example of turning a light on in the middle of the night. This action of illuminating the room can be seen as a stimulus class since it includes various stimuli that produce a similar behavioral response. These stimuli could include flipping a light switch, clapping to activate a smart light, or using a mobile app to control the lights. Despite the different stimuli involved, they all share the common effect of producing light and influencing the behavior of illuminating the surroundings. The concept of stimulus class helps us understand how different stimuli can elicit similar responses or behaviors in individuals. To sum up, stimulus refers to anything that a person can experience through their senses observable. The stimulus class is a group of stimuli that have a common effect on an operant class to evoke or abate the same behavior or response class. That's all for today's video. See you next time. Visit our website for study guide and exam practice and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn for free exam questions and discount coupons.